Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A week ago I did a video on canny gel paints. Well, I also purchased at the time some canny builder gels and I have to say hands down my favorite gel I've ever used for building, for sculpting. It actually has a primer and it has top coat and a base coat and so I bought that as well. And I have some different colors. There's a jelly series. There's just a solid color series of builder gels, but absolutely love them. So I had to share it with you. So first of all, I'm showing you the primer Love the primer. I've only had to use one coat on the clients I've used and I've had no lifting on their nails. Um, it dries really quick, which is great too. Okay. And then the base, I bought the base coat. I figured I needed the whole set if I was going to do it right. So I bought the base and it's just a thin layer that you're going to be putting on a client's nails. That's after the primer and it cures for, I do it about a minute and a half in the LED. And then there's the top coat and the top coat is thin too. And of course, after I put on the color, I usually put the top coat. So I've got a tip here and I was just going to kind of show you how the gel is. The consistency and everything so first I'm putting the primer I had um, buff the nail first and the primer dried really quick so now we're gonna stick on the base and like I said I'll just cure that a minute and a half in my LED probably a minute would be fine so next I'm gonna show you the uh, jelly series and this is number 323 it's a really nice pink. The Jelly Series, you can, it's more transparent. So when you're putting it on the nail, it's not like a full coverage color. Okay, and so we got 303 here. And this is light pink, and it's a really nice solid pink. You could use that as your color, or you could use an under color. And here you can see the consistency of it. I'm going to place it on this nail just to show you. One thing I noticed about this gel that I just love is when I'm ever applying it on, say, a client's nails that doesn't have as much of a C curve, it's not running into the cuticle, so that's a really great thing, and that's a plus. And it's a little thicker, so I just really think it applies nicely, and it does self-level. I was a little leery of buying this gel. I bought it actually from AliExpress as well. Really good um, supplier that I bought it from, but I had, like I said, heard from another nail tech that it was really good and it was more inexpensive than the pricier gels. So I thought, oh, I'll give it a try and see how it is. And I'm so happy I did. And then once I get that done, I'm going to cure it for a minute and a half in LED. Okay, so when that's curing, I'm going to show you here. There's another color. It's kind of adds a brown undertone. Really nice as well, and that's a solid color. Remember, these are all builder gels. There's 301. This is light pink. This is actually um, what I have on my nails now. You can see there. I really like that color. I've got lots of compliments on it. And then there's another jelly series. deeper color and of course that is more transparent than the other ones that I've showed you okay 313 that is the clear again they're all the same consistency which is nice and this one of course is a jelly series again and it's kind of got more of a peach undertone well, it's really nice now I'm going to show you the top coat of course I would buff the nail and a uh, file and then I would do the top coat like this and it would just be a thin layer cured for uh, 60 seconds in my LED. Well everybody I hope you enjoyed watching thanks and see you next time. Bye!